I'm the head of the Open City Management, Daisuke Toyota, and we will talk about Open City and diversity. As, and as I should have said, I would like to uh, talk with you today uh, about why diversity is so important to us. But before that, what is Urban City? Why are we doing this? Why are we building Urban City? What is the purpose? That is where I would like to start my presentation proudly. It has not yet been clearly communicated externally. So that is where I would like to start my presentation. Why are we building Urban City? Why is because we want to create well-being for all. That is our ultimate purpose. In order to deliver this, we created this project. And I'd like to ask you a question. I would like to ask you, what is well-being to you? What is well-being to you? I think for me, total happiness would be um, not worrying about my family. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually. Thank you. Yeah. What's what for you? What what is well being for you? I think well being means being able to have the choice mm -hmm. and be able to do whatever you wanted to do. Thank you very much. So I asked some of the participants here what well-being to them. So as you noticed, well-being uh, is different by a person. So the well-being for you, we want to deliver in the urban city. So not just one single standardized well-being, but we want to have it uh, available for you, uh, tailored to your needs. So I like eating. So having a good meal, eating good food is one of the things I like. So I like to take taste as an example. So let's say uh, there's katsudon, like deep fried pork with rice. So some like that, but others may not. So in urban city, if we decide that the the poor cutlet bowl we make is the best, so we must you must eat it. If if that's the stance we take, I don't think, it, I mean it will. I don't think it will make everyone happy. So what we want to do in Uven City is to create the base taste, the basic taste, so that. Uh, Every each resident or the other stakeholders of urban city can personalize the taste, which meets your favorite taste or the needs. That's what we want to uh, do in the urban city. So, in order to make this basic taste, what do we have to do? So here diversity becomes more important in order to prevent whatever we make to be one-sided or biased. And the base we make will be supported by our diversified team. In our team, we have a lot of members with different backgrounds and we can share like and shared opinions and exchange opinions so that uh, the, the final taste we deliver uh, will be the basic one, which can be personalized, customized uh, later according to your needs. And why are we making Uven City? It will not be just for you. So you will not do this just for you, but you want to do this for someone else. You want to do it for other people. So it's not about me oriented way of thinking, but you will be 
doing it for other people. That's the, the, the approach we encourage everyone in the team to take. And the word woven means that you are forming a fab fabric by interlacing threads. So when there is one thread or the string, it can be easily broken. But when you interlace multiple threads, then the fabric becomes stronger. And as you can see in this picture, so we do not want to blend those threads. You can see that there are different colors when you look at this fabric. So different people come and make one team and you create a vision and then it's not, we are not going to tell you, your team to be, you know, blended with other members and become, um, for example, just one color. We would like you to maintain your personal color, the team, the color of your team, because, because we think in that way, we can create a strong fabric where the strong company as one team. And this urban city, your urban city project or urban planet are part of Toyota Group. Toyota Group started as a manufacturer of automatic loom. I know that it's completely different from automotive business we do now, but you can see that it's a looming machine. That is how they started the business and why they built it is the founder of this company, my grand, 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 grandfather made this. And why he invented this is because his mother always worked late, were creating fabric, and he wanted to automate the process for his mother. That was the to start the debut of the Toyota business. And this approach, this way of thinking has been maintained and in past over uh, the time. So doing something for others, for the good of others so that you can help them is uh, the mindset we would we encourage the team to have. And when we say diversity, it's not just about gender. It can uh, mean different background, uh, ability, language, and age. So it might look different, but the experience and the background can differ. And that's what we value in Uven City. So this is uh, the first diversity event we host, but we would like to continue this kind of event to welcome diversified talents and create diversity in our team. Well, this is located on the 20th floor. Mobility for all. This is Braille. So there are letters and also Braille. And this is the most favorite place for me. So when you go home, please make sure that you actually take a look at this and also touch this. So the letters and also the Braille. This is for those who have visually impaired and also who can actually see. But uh, this can be seen from those who cannot see, but uh, th those who cannot see can read, and also those who can see can read. And these are what we would like to realize in a woven city and also a woven planet. So that is the reason why we have it here. So if you still have enough time, please make sure that you step by and take a look at this. And the company, Toyota, we had designed with you for you. So under this kind of concept, we have engaged ourselves in monozukuri, the manufacturing. Well, this is something that we do for the sake of others. 
and we want to have the customers to be convinced. So therefore, we would like to create this together with you. So this was our concept. So even in Uven City, we have a different kind of product and services. And when we do so, we would like to do this together with the customers. And then for those who create this for the customers, we would like to do this. So we have the basic days, and then we would like to have a personalized item or the service so that we could make this to a score of 100. So this is the kind of the service and also uh, urban development that we would like to be engaged. And uh, in Ulin Planet, we have a human center, living laboratory, and ever-evolving. Ever and this ever-evolving, it's not that we're going to pursue something as a perfection. So once something is made, we would like to move on to the next step. So we would continuously make an improvement. So this is how we would like to evolve ourselves. So once we create the basic and say, and even though we think that is perfect, it's not going to be end that way. So we're going to step that up. So we're going to make a further improvement. And this is what we would like to develop together with you. And even in the Uven City project, it's really important that uh, we have this for someone other than yourself. And I would like to briefly talk about this Uven City project. So back in 2021, uh, uh, so, so we said that we're going to change ourselves into a mobility company from the automobile company. So this is something that we have announced. So um, maybe people have wondered, and. Uh, uh, what this mobility company is all about. And based on that, uh, back in 2018, we have established uh, Uven Planet. And before it was the TRIAD. And then what kind of company is involved? So Toyota Group has accumulated Monozukri assets and leveraging that, uh, centering on the software, in order for us to become a mobility company, uh, we are the one that support, and that was a TRIAD, and now Woven Planet, and this is a mission that has been given. So to change ourselves in the mobility company, we try to realize that as our software, but not only the software, we have to fuse that together with the hardware, and this is our main task. So autonomous vehicles and also the investment. So we have a different kind of team underneath and Uven City is also included in here. Well, maybe you think that this is nothing to do with uh, city development, but there's other uh, opportunities. So based on that, if you're interested in Uven Planet, please uh, research this and then find out what we're doing. Okay, going back about the mobility. So when we want to become a mobility company, what is mobility? And mobility, simply put, is going from point A to point B. So it's a movement. And this is something that you might imagine, but not only that. What I mean is that move. Well, mobility uh, has the origin word of move. And move means that you get impressed. So such kind of moving, uh, such kind of meaning is also included. So not only moving from point A to point B, there is a kind of movement that you have with your heart. So combining these together, what is it uh, about the mobility? So if you think about that, there are three kinds of mobility. So one is about the people's mobility and goods mobility and information's mobility. And what is the essential value of the mobility? And if you think about that, let's say when you stood up and walked for the first time, I don't think there's anyone in here who remember that, and me neither. But maybe I believe that you were all smiles. And also I myself was smiling at that time. But not only that, the people surrounding you have was more happy than you were. So what is the essential value that people have? Well, just moving is also something that brings happiness to you. But not only that, but having a movement, you get connected to others. And I believe this is a kind of value that you never forget. So I believe this is the mobility's essential value. So uh, this is actually done through people's mobility, goods mobility, and information mobility. So what uh, Urban City is aimed for? So I talked about the purpose. Well-being for all is something that I have touched upon earlier. 
Well, even though uh, this is our objectives, uh, so how we get there is about our vision. Expand mobility, enhance humanity, engage society. So we're going to expand more mobility. So I believe this is something that we would like to raise. And then the mission is that in order to achieve that mission, what we need to do, so it's a what part. So uh, what we do to get there is building the future fabric life of us in the city. And when we talk about the mobility, it's not only a movement from point A and point B. There is a movement by heart. So you connect people's heart. So that might be good, or that might be some kind of value. Maybe through mobility, you might have energy, food, logistics, healthcare. By connecting with different kind of uh, disciplines, we bring a new value. And also we transcend uh, the mobility boundaries. And this is something that we're aiming for. And this is a project with no answer. So we don't know how we're going to do this. So we never specify how we do this. We will never do that. Well, goal, we go together, but the way of you know achieving that goal will be different uh, with our discretion. So this is what Uven City is aiming for. And the value, and also the, uh, so the value, what we do when we do anything, we always uh, place an importance. So this is something that we will think about. But uh, the most key uh, fundamentals is that for someone other than yourself, but I would like to skip uh, due to time constraints. So if you're interested, please take a look at our website. So first of all, uh, what is the objectives and the, what is the purpose, uh, which means that why we do that is well-being for all. So please remember that we do this for someone than, uh, than yourself. So it's already time, so I would like to finish here. So with the people like you with a diverse type of people, I would like to work together. So if you're interested, please apply to our company. Thank you very much for your attention.